Hello guys, Abraxas here, and I'm tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, just finished uploading and editing and whatever to that latest Space Engine video. And uh, one thing I wanted to test was what happens if I just mess around with the exposure. I see in one of Anton's videos that uh, if you turn down the exposure on things like, let's go to Sagittarius A real quick, I'm just going to search for it, I ain't going to manually go to it. If I go to Sagittarius A real quick, yeah, there we go, yeah, go to that, and yeah, if I turn down the exposure all the way to lowest it can go, it's supposed to turn like a pale blue color. All right, let's zoom in to this and see what we got going on. Okay, so it turns into a pale blue and looks very creepy and also has like, I guess its spiral effect is much more defined. If I go ahead and actually fast forward a little bit, you can watch the accretion disc actually rotate around it. Well, I was wondering. Uh, let's go ahead and pause time and zoom out. I don't know how much I've actually zoomed out. Let me fix that. Okay, there we go. I was wondering what would happen if I actually just did that with the Milky Way Galaxy. Okay, so the Milky Way Galaxy f like fades out very quickly. Well, there was a video that he uploaded tonight and let me get this up on my other screen here. Ah, uh, yes, IC1101 was the galaxy you went to. And he said he wanted people to visit it and experiment a little bit with it. So let's see what I could do. One thing he did was he showed off the accretion disk in the center of this monstrously big galaxy. In fact, this is apparently the biggest galaxy we've found so far. So I don't, I don't even know. I guess that's the star cluster in the center. And the accretion disk of this black hole is apparently like a light year. Let's see if I can find the black hole. I think it's this dot right here. This dot? Might be this dot. No, I apparently flown past it. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh shit. Hello. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that thing's huge. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, so the accretion disk on this is only a little bit big. Only slightly. Yeah, the distance from me to the black hole right now is one light year. So the accretion disk spans to about right here. So it's actually closer to 1.5 light years in the game. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. So, if I hit play. Okay, this is the same speed that I had going on with the uh, Sagittarius A black hole. So, that tells me that it's actually not... Well, I mean, it could be rotating pretty fast, but to the scale, it doesn't look like it is. So, I'm actually going to speed it up. And this is 50,000 times real time, I think. That is a huge black hole, wow. Okay, well the thing I was curious about was what happens if I just drop the exposure with this black hole? Okay, that actually looks kinda cool. Um, this one actually looks a little bit different than all the other accretion disks. The uh, spiral effect actually has a bigger gap between like each strand, I guess. So you can really actually see the spiral with this one. The other ones, they look... Well, you just can't really see through them, and that's made them always kind of look a little bit weird. So let's go ahead and just keep turning this down. And it looks like, okay, so now it's kind of like a yellow color. It's kind of got like a little gold going on here. Let's keep going. Okay, now we're getting like a uh, bronze, coppery kind of color going on. 
Let's keep dropping the exposure even more. Now we're really starting to see the detail in the spirals. Whoops. Just flew into the black hole. Let me reduce the speed a little bit. Okay, that's better. Okay, so you can see it actually... I'm assuming this lag is from all the stars rotating around it, but let's decrease the exposure even more. Okay, now it's just... It's completely desaturated. It's just white now. But it's kind of got like a little bit of a shine going on with it. You can kind of see that. It's like... You can see like this white outline around it. It really does make the black hole look a little bit more like a ball than a... Uh, I don't know, flat object. Kind of, kind of makes that show a little bit more. Also, when I'm moving it around like this, it makes the uh, disc look like it's uh, convex instead of like concave. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Let's reduce it more. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. It's got like a uh, bluish tint now, but. Like, I don't know. Parts of it look like it's, like, shining, kind of. That's actually really awesome. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce my speed a little bit more. And let's just fly over to the accretion disk and see what this looks like. That's a really awesome effect. This black hole is huge compared to the accretion disk. Of course, you can't see most of the accretion disk because of uh, the exposure right now, but... I'm, like, really, really close to the center of it. That is awesome. As I get closer, it's going to get a little bit more and more distorted. <laughs> Lost yet? You can see how kind of how the uh, model is rendering right there, or at least the distortion effect. Uh, wow. And if I turn around, it doesn't actually look blue. It doesn't get the same blue effect when I have the exposure kicked up like this. The black hole now. I think it's huge. Sit right above it like this. Everything, it just looks like there's like a wall of uh, lines around me, I guess. Let's fly in a little bit and just kind of, up. Oh, I'm lost. Where'd I go? <laughs> okay, I'm seeing, I see the light. Go towards the light. Okay, so we got a white outline. Just speed it up a little bit. And I'm almost out of the black hole. Getting there. I'm moving astronomical units, like, per second, six of them, so, I mean, distance between the sun and the earth, I'm moving six of those per second at the moment. Now, if you see my, uh, flying at the speed of light video from the earth to the sun, you know. That is pretty damn quick. Wow. Let's just go ahead and fly out of this thing. Let's go ahead and uh, put the exposure back up so we can see a little bit more of the uh, accretion disk. Let's just get up on here again. Oh. Yeah, you don't need that the like, get near the black hole for it just completely distort all the light in the area. Just flying over, it's enough to completely distort your screen. So yeah, this is just basically all I want to do, which is kind of mess around with this. But, uh, yeah, that is a really awesome find, and, uh, I definitely credit, credit Anton for uh, finding this. Well, I mean, I credit the people who found it through a telescope, but, you know. <laughs> Wow, that's that's distorting light like way out here. Like over here, it's even getting distorted.
It's even getting distorted up here slightly. You can see that star move up and down. <laughs> wow. Okay, well, uh, yep, that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. Uh, if you liked the video, leave it a like, and if you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe.